Right, so today I want to talk about a bit of a common misconception when it comes to cross-out. It's a popular way of, of calling other people cheaters or hackers simply by misunderstanding the mechanics of the game. Now, Cepheus is no stranger to misunderstanding game mechanics and calling it cheats. Uh, and I have a specific clip here I want to show you where he explains in detail what he thinks is a glitch or a way of telling how people can cheat. So let's watch that real quick to get some context. So like on my shotgun build, right? If he's trying to hit in my shotguns, look at my crosshairs. You see this guys, look. I'm gonna move the mouse up, only up. I'm going straight up, 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 up. See, what is that? And now look where it goes, see where it pops. Look at that, which means if you're on a s almost at the same level, like he has the guns, and he's trying to shoot me in the gun, if you're gonna go up, crosshairs bounce down, and now they're gonna go over, which means it is literally impossible to shoot someone in the guns from this kind of angle. And whoever is doing it is 100% aimbot. This is how I know. Now, as you can see, he's very confident in his, in his uh, claims of uh, how this works. He knows that he isn't wrong. Well, he is wrong though, and I'm gonna show you why. Uh, first of all, let's uh, go in game and quickly explain uh, how it actually works, and afterwards I'll do a more detailed example. Right, so I I want to show you how this looks in game. Uh, you can see the cursor here; it follows where my uh, my guns are aiming. Now, what he's talking about is when I look at the enemy robot here and I move my cursor over it you see a little jump in the cursor like so now something important to note is that the the cursor from cannons or rail guns or similar will move in a 3d space you can see when i aim close to myself it will move, it will move along my own robot it will always appear where my gun is pointing at but it's the crosshair thing, it does this with every weapon. Now something that's important to note is that this is uh, this doesn't happen for machine guns. Uh, machine guns just have a 2D cursor, it will always be in the middle of your screen. You see if I move over here, it won't do any jumps. And if I aim close to myself, it won't follow along my robot's uh, geometry. This is uh, because it's not a projectile weapon, it's hit scan works differently and it also that means it needs a different type of cursor to work. Now Sevius has a tendency to censor opinion or people that go against what he says. Um, here's a clip of him banning someone because they spoke out against what he just claimed uh, about the reticle. Yep, and see there we go some scrub I had to ban that scrub he's like oh you don't know how aiming works I just showed you how it works what what, what exactly are you whining about kids if you think I'm wrong make a video it's simple as that surprisingly enough he w still says that you can just make a video to prove him wrong but I guess I guess a comment in his chat should get banned instead he also has a tendency to falsely copyright strike people that talk badly about him just like the situation with Kim's a uh, long time ago. Okay, you see this edge. See this edge. Same thing happens. Look, I'm going up with the crosshairs. See, it goes down and then it bounces upward. Alright, here's a little scene setup. We've got you on the right side with your camera situated above you and the enemy be in front of you and a mountain behind it. Alright, let's draw a line from our point of view to where we're looking at. And then we draw a line to where the gun is aiming at. Now let's see what happens if we start moving the camera upwards. Alright, so far so good. Now let's move it over the robot. Alright, as you can see, when I move it uh, beyond the robot, um, I'm actually looking way behind it. Uh, but the gun will still try and aim where my camera is looking, which is now situated behind the robot, meaning I'll actually aim in the middle of it, which creates the first snap. Now if we continue looking upwards with the camera, 
will create another snap. Uh, and there you have it. Uh, all this really happens because your camera is um, in third person. If you used a scope to look in first person instead, you would not see these snaps happening because uh, the camera doesn't create this triangle um, that that makes these jumps actually able to appear. Literally impossible to shoot someone in the guns from this kind of angle. All right, so the only reason why Cepheus claims that it's quote literally impossible to hit weapons behind uh, a cabin protected at roughly the same level as you is because he doesn't know how aiming works. You don't actually want to aim directly at the weapons here because then your, uh, your shot will be caught by the cabin due to the angle. Uh, you usually just want to aim slightly above it. The, the reticle shouldn't even touch the weapon. If I aim, aim above here, I'll shoot the weapon because of the vector we studied before. Now here I aimed a little bit too low and I actually hit the cabin instead, so we'll aim a little, little more and then we'll hit the gun instead. Uh, sorry for hacking, Cepheus. As you can clearly see, very hard to do. Yeah, exactly. And you this is what I'm saying. Where you need it. And anyone who's making these shots with rail guns, like either directly in the guns, guns that are hidden behind the cabin, or if they are shooting above the edge, just a little bit, that is 100% aimbot. There is just no doubt about it. There is no arguing over it. I have over 1,800 hours on this game. I have played every single gun available in the game, so I know what I'm talking about. That's a pretty bold statement from someone who doesn't know basic game mechanics. Yeah, go to blacklist, you fucking retard. There we go. Now, while we're at the topic of Cepheus, let's talk a little bit about his hypocrisy and toxicity. Now, for someone who really hates hackers and will easily uh, call out anyone for it uh, with or without proof. Fuck this shield hack! Oh, this fucker is aimbotting, I think. Oh, it's that cheater! Oh, yeah, that's the cheater. He's an aimbot. Yep, there comes the aimbot again. Stop yep, him. of course, cheater again. Oh, he yep, had this fucking aimbot and wall hack. <laughs> Everyone is seeing this right now. Report this guy every time you see this faggot. This is so pathetic. Yeah, oh, you cheating. Uh, it's kind of surprising that he himself sells and uses hacks uh, pretty openly as well. Let's start out with a clip of Cepheus straight up using a map exploit. I'm gonna go to my favorite place then. Oh shit, he's gonna go to cap. I'm gonna respawn, that's what I'll do. I'm gonna do the respawn trick. Hopefully I'm gonna respawn closer to the spawn. Whee! Yes! <laughs> it worked! It worked! He's never gonna find me. Now here on his main channel we also have a video of him uh, teaching how to use macros or external programs to to mess with the in-game settings. Uh, using macros or external programs is very much against the terms of service and will get you punished, at least normally. Alright, so let's have a look here. We're gonna search for Cepheus' channel and we're gonna press it. Go to his other channels or linked channels and we press his 10,000 subscriber channel here. Now, as far as I can tell, this channel is mostly dedicated to talking uh, about hacks and teaching people how to hack. Um, a good example is uh, the latest one here is how to make a teleport in any game detail tutorial. Um, if we go to the about tab, You'll see he has a link to a uh, store website here. Now here he actually sells hacks for various games. Um, uh, he even claims they have a concept that can bypass uh, the vac protection on Steam, the anti-cheat, which is 
interesting coming from a guy who so openly uh, talk against hacking. Here you can see various things you can pay for. That's pretty hypocritical of someone to rant on people and block them and report them and try to get people banned for hacking when you teach or sell hacks yourself. And also another thing, if you must know, I used the wall hack in uh, CSS, like CSS, not CSGO. And CSS doesn't have a competitive mode, I was just doing it, you know, casual servers and stuff, just for the fun. <laughs> Other examples of, of his hypocrisy is his uh, hate on fusion builds that uh, I made popular in Crossout. Zephyrus always calls uh, fusion builds autistic. Yep. And that's why fusion builds are autistic. Warm, don't advertise the vomit boy in here. I don't want to see autism on my channel, so... <laughs> autistic build for autistic players! Thumbs up, everyone! But recently, since they actually got uh, legitimate support from the developers, suddenly they are okay for him to use? Now hypocrisy is one thing, but it's his toxicity that really pushes me over the edge sometimes. Here's some examples of what I mean. See him, he's right in front of me. Oh come on, fuck off you fag sniffer. For fuck's sake this weasel! Yeah, go troll yourself you retard. And this fucking little fuckwit just ran away. Yeah, cheat she. Oh, that's another gay club owner. That's what you get, you noob ass. Goddamn gay. Yep, exactly in the gun, you fucking cheating fag sniffer. These kind of people, they only play hover rail guns because they, they have a so small cock that they need an extension to it, you know? Because I play the games for the fun of it. I mean, if I would let the computer aim for me and do all the job for me, I mean, it's boring. And also another thing, if you must know, I used the wall hack in uh, CSS. <laughs> what are these power scores? Why are we playing with 8Ks? Like seriously? Do you have something against gay people, Cepheus? Yeah. I think it's on the hill. Oh, for fuck's sake, you niggas sniffer. Oh, come on, where did this nigga come from? Well, people are whining about me saying the n-word, but look, what's this then? Look, there's an n-word driving right in front of me. What am I supposed to call him then? I never heard you say the n-word. Where did this nigga come from? You nigga sniffer. You... Oh, that, oh, that's Rawr. a yikes from me on that one. As of editing this video, you can still find the first example uh, on his channel, unedited. The second example, however, he has actually edited out after uh, massive backlash. Let's see, right there. You can see the dislike ratio reflecting that quite well. He also uh, deleted a whole bunch of comments mentioning it, uh, except this one here. Uh, Tech note: He chose to upload this. This is not from a stream. Uh, this is a video he edited and uploaded and approved himself. He only cut uh, this part out because of the backlash. The other video has significantly less people talking about it. Now this isn't my usual kind of uh, videos, but I wanted to uh, get this off my chest because I do think that uh, what he's doing is harmful to the community overall. And I wanted uh, more people to know about it. So thank you for watching and subscribe for more funny videos. You wanna impress me, show me uh, higher than uh, three average skills per match. That's what I wanna see. Show me uh, higher than uh, three average skills per match.